Well, he's gonna look pretty sharp here now when you get that. And you feel some air conditioning around those ears. My name is Chris Harris, and my home is Marion, North Carolina. Main Street Marion, North Carolina. You'll find a McDowell County landmark, an old time tradition. I like the old timey feel. It keeps a part of my grandfather and my dad alive here too. Since 1899, countless have stopped by to get their ears lowered at the city barbershop. When we think about that we're standing in the oldest barbershop in North Carolina, that can be documented. That's pretty special. What do you think about that? Pretty awesome to know that I'm actually, you know, maybe the second owner, but um, in my family, but the third generation of barbers coming up. Third generation barber and owner Chris Harris remembers watching his grandfather Jack and father Tom cut hair the old style way. The old school barber and ways is, is about, in my opinion, becoming a way of the past. It's just you don't see a lot of old school barber shops anymore where you come in and sit down and you, you barber don't have to ask you how you want your hair cut, you just say you want a regular, right in there. For years it's been a place to go to catch up on the town news. Yeah, up above mom and dad's house. But he, he contacted them, you know, on about that job and everything they wanted. I didn't go to our 10 year, but I, yeah, I thought I'd go to the 20 year. Hey, at least you'll go with a good haircut, ain't that right? Yeah. Hear about important arrivals like children and cars. A 24 karat gold plated Lamborghini. It, which was mind blowing. Or maybe share a joke or two. I understand. He said, Well, why? When I asked how many people wanted to go to heaven, you didn't raise your hand. He said, Oh, I thought you'd get a load up right then. <laughs> and the shop still has the same feel as those good old days same cash register and the same Coke and Barber chairs that caused such a buzz back in the early 1920s. These chairs were put in in 1924, and one of these books, I think it talks about them sitting around waiting on the arrival of the new barber chairs, and that was like a big talk of the town. There, there's, some, there's some real history here, there really is. Alongside Chris, you'll find Buck Carver in his 44th year as a barber, telling jokes and remembering how things used to be. They can see, you know, more or less rural American life just slow down, and when they come through, it's like stepping through a door to another time. Ten dollars, my man. Then there's the young apprentice barber, Jamie Mills, bringing with him fresh and new designs, but also honoring the tried and true. It's an honor to be here because not many young 22-year-olds get to be a part of history every day to, as they come to work. Now, as the old-time barbershop seems to be a vanishing piece of Americana, Chris Harris hopes to help restore the luster of his Let's shop without losing that old-fashioned feel of family and friends. That's hopefully my health holds out and it'll be here for as long as I'm here. I've got two young boys and I don't know if they'll want to barber or not, but um, as long as I'm alive, it'll still be a barbershop and it'll be an old-school barbershop. <laughs>